Good morning. Starting the day in the seed warehouse again with another delivery. Not seed this time. Oh, a lot of work. Oh boy, that's a lot of uh, a lot of styrofoam insulation. So these are all pre-cut bundles. They're the right width, and we just we just throw them in the ceiling, and then we're gonna roll that stuff on it and keep it nice and toasty in here. At least that's the idea. We'll see how it goes. So we gotta get the boom lift back down here and. My plan is to just kind of start in the far bay down there and see how it goes. Um, we've got to figure out what to do about the electrical that I've already got run for lights and plugs up there and some of the other stuff that I don't really want to bury. At some point, we are going to put steel underneath this following the slope, um, but that might not happen immediately. So we'll get it insulated and see where we're at. When I was power washing yesterday, I missed two phone calls from seed customers wanting to sit down and go over some stuff. And so uh, by the time I got them called back, uh, I was, oh, it was well after five, but I'm on my way to go meet with one of them. Right now we gotta get that taken care of here this morning. And then we'll head back to the farm. We're gonna get our main lift taken down to the seed warehouse there. We gotta clean up the concrete from our power washing mess yesterday. And I think we're gonna try to put the combine in the shop today. It's not snowing yet, but they say it's going to snow today. Let's see. I made it back to the farm here. Brock has come and left. He took the uh, draper head down to Berkey. Him and, and Phil took the other semi, and they're going to put that in the barn and come back. He scraped up our stuff into some piles, so got some more cleaning up to do there. It's nice he watches these videos before he comes to work, so he knows what he's got to do before he even gets here. Works out well for me. Anyway, um, I have more running around to do. And another seed customer that just called. And he wants to meet right after lunch, and it's almost lunchtime already, believe it or not. So I'm going to go do that first. Got to stop at the bank. Got to do this. Got to do that. And then we're going to go meet with him. And then we're going to come back and get the combine out. I don't know if we're going to wash the combine today. We're just going to put it in the uh, shop so it's warm and we can start working on it. But we will get a combine out. I promise. Finally, we had a pretty good day selling seed, let me tell you. For middle of December, we had a good day. Brock's doing a good job cleaning our concrete off. Good job, Brock. Did you get that drain cleaned out? Awesome. Now we did a little reorganizing in the uh, shop there. Let's get the combine out. It's not snowing, but it is raining. See, if I had a 12-row corn head, it wouldn't fit in the shop hooked up, so that would be a problem for me. We better stick with an 8-row. Oh. All right, well, we've got some cleaning to do yet. Some of this stuff on the corn head was, it was caked in there. I couldn't get it out with the air, so we need to take a screwdriver and loosen all that up. Do some power wash and get the stuff out of the auger trough. Um, eventually, we'll take these apart, we'll look at them. I don't know if we need to change any components or just clean them up and put them back together, but we'll do that. We've got a few shields that need to come off on the com combine yet. Um, like these. I took off the stuff that I could do without tools when we were blowing it off, but I did not you know, get the wrenches out and take those off. There's uh, oh, some on the other side and a few different things that we can take off to be able to get into it and clean it up. Have fun. A little dirty in here. It's not, it's not, not terrible, but it's not great. Usually we pull the chaffer and sieve out every year just to be able to clean things up real good. So I would anticipate doing the same here, but we'll see. Yeah. Rock's making it dirty in here. You're making it dirty in here. Yeah, outside. Oh, I got those cleaned up. I was just going to take a screwdriver and loosen stuff up and then do it outside. But hey, whatever. It's fine. It's all good. A little more to do. Just getting there. Let's see if we got all the shields off. I had to go place some orders on the computer real quick. So. Also, I need to look into uh, 
ordering these brackets. I never did do anything after we broke that other one. I was too busy to get on the phone and or email or whatever. And, there we go. Get replacements coming, so I need to do that sooner rather than later. Get whatever's in there the first time and that's it. Yeah. Green tank sumps. Wheat. Got wheat. It's not even bad. It's not even bad. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, overall, it's not terrible. Like, we're going to get some dirt off of it yet. We got a lot of washing to do. But I don't think it'll be too bad. We just need some warm weather, that's all. We're not getting it. So we do have a little work to do to our corn head beyond just cleaning it, um, one of them. Well, we lost some stalk stompers this year. This corner bracket here broke out, and I am debating whether I call Mae West and have them send me some, whether they will stand behind this and just send them to me, or if they're going to make me buy them. I looked them up. They're 181 bucks. I think I can weld some angle iron on there and be stronger and cheaper. It would work. I don't know. Uh, yeah, these things work pretty good. They are getting some wear. You can see got quite a groove where that stock runs, but I do like them. So we got to get it fixed because it is wearing our back tire. This side here, this tire, obviously we weren't running them for probably half the year. And you can see we've got a lot of corn stock stuck in here and it's tearing up these lugs really bad. So... That's why we need them and we need to get them fixed so that it stops that. If you look at the other side, we do have some damage from the first fall we ran without the stompers, uh, but we don't have the stubble and stuff stuck in them now because we put them stompers on and it protects them. That's what they're for. Well, we picked at stuff and walked around and got most of the shields off and yeah, should be good to go. Brock got those uh, green tank covers kind of opened up and got everything out of there that we could and we've got a pile of corn and yeah we didn't get all the dirt off of it with the air it turns out yeah, imagine that so anyway um the end of this week thursday and friday look like it's going to be warm outside so we are probably going to try and power wash then and see how we do with getting stuff cleaned up um yeah this is going to be a project so tomorrow i think i'm gonna work down in my seed warehouse on some insulation. In fact, I think I'm gonna go out and get the main lift and drive it back down there right now so that it's there. Yeah, it's coming. There's Dad's stairs he's been working on. Impressive. Scratch that. We're not gonna take the main lift down tonight. Dad said something about needing it to do something with something inside the barn there where he had it. I'm not sure if he got that done yet or not, so I'll uh, we'll just talk to him about it in the morning and we'll worry about it then. No big deal. So, plus I'd be stranded with no truck down there if I took that home tonight. Okay, um, I guess that's it for today. So, yeah, tomorrow a little different. Working in the seed warehouse and then power washing on Thursday and Friday, most likely. So thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. What's today? The 5th. You still got time to order stuff from Farm Focus if you need, need something for Christmas. You got till the 11th.